Hi YouTube, Elite Legionario here and today I've decided I will bring you a 5 player free for all for Rome Total War. So as you can see I'm playing as Dacia and the rules were 15k CWB and only Barbarian factions. So I chose Dacia and as you can see there's my most initial opponent is Gaul, then the Spain, Germany and a very spammed out chariot Brit British Britain's army which annoyed everyone on the field except for the person who obviously brought it. I have four units of silver gold chosen swordsmen, two units of gold gold fal falksmen, I have two units of gold gold noble cat barbarian cavalry and four units of gold attack archers. This guy's got about four or five um, War bands, some swordsmen, some chosen swordsmen, some barbarian warlords, some barbarian light cav. Over here, it's just getting started, so I'm a bit rushed. Sorry about that, guys. This guy had a couple of very highly upgraded axemen units, uh, some mildly upgraded, um, I think it's gold gold, um, chosen axemen, and the three of those, and some berserkers, and a couple of gothic cav, and a couple of chosen archer warband. But he's in a pretty bad spot, Britain's could easily destroy him, but thankfully Britain at least um, holds out and lets Spain and um, Germania scrap it out with one another. And it's a really cool fight. So, very wisely, the Spanish player Sean Paddy, Rebel Sean Paddy, deals with those berserkers. Good move, he needs to get them out of the show fast. But these axemen are making short work of these Scutarii and these and this various other things. He's got some, Basically, I think he had uh, four or five Scutarii, three Iberian infantry, a bull warrior unit, which are fantastic, and a couple of Iberian round shields or long shields or something like that. So over here, these bull warriors are making good work against both these Gothic Cav and these Axemen. That's, what, that's what's good about bull warriors, they're really good. So he comes in with support with these Iberians because he doesn't he doesn't want to let his bull warriors get beaten up because he will need them. There's the routing um, Spanish warlord for some reason or the general he looks just like a British one. I don't I've never understood why that is because if you look at the British one wherever he is in here somewhere in the F overseer he'll look exactly the same. So as you can see it's really really close. It's hard to say who's going to win, it's so close for most of the game, but the Bull Warriors managed to turn it in favour of Spain. I'm going to have to quickly get over to my side of the field if we want to catch my battle though, so hopefully... Yeah, what will happen though, those German units will mass routes. So I'm going to get over to my side of the field because I don't want to miss it. And as you can see, look, those white flags up there, the Germans just routed, so it was a real tight and real close battle. So. Good work for Sean Paddy, um, Rebel Sean Paddy, he did good and a very good effort from Zeliac, who is Germania, he's really good. So my opponent has start, sort of formed this um, noob square thing with warbands, and then warband have got no bonus against Cav, even though they're armed with spears, so you didn't know that that's the case, so they're really just crap all around. Anyway, He's got these Forest of Warband, but they're all clumped, and that makes them that much easier to shoot up. Minor and loose formations, they'll last longer. So I'm going to send my Falksman to deal with his Cav. I'm going to use my Cav and one of these Chosen Swordsmen in support against these guys, and the rest can just war cry and do what they've got to do. Here he comes in for a charge, light Cav, right into these Chosen Swordsmen, not a good move. These Falksmen are going to catch these ones. See, so as you can see... He's seen some of his guys in. His guys have got a few upgrades. These, these guys have got quite a few. They're probably about even with mine, nearly. But he's all in all gone for, I think, a bigger but less upgraded army, which seems to be the case for my opponents at the moment. So here, he doesn't. He's sluggish with these and doesn't get them. He doesn't. He should have had them over here to intercept these, but he doesn't. So here I'm going to come in with a charge and I'm going to route this whole clump of his main most powerful infantry which is really really good. 
So as you can see, the wall player is getting pretty much beaten up now. So he's got a mass route going on here. And now I'm just going to use my um, cab to pick up pick up as many routes as I can. Cause we, I, we weren't told if it was scored or LMS, so I usually just treat those games that I don't know as, L as scored rather, because you know you want the most kills. Here I see the British player coming, so I'm going to run my archers out of the way because they get caught. I'm going to get absolutely devastated. So as you can see, I'm just running down what I can. And it's a lovely field of dead ghouls. So yeah, I mean, nothing against this player Pendragon, but bringing just chariots pretty we did bring some slingers and things but bring this massive chariot spam it wasn't entirely the most sporting thing if he brought some like chosen sword and perhaps like three chariots or something it would be all right give us a bit of you know a bit of you know, make it more balanced and fair but then again there were no rules against doing this so you know he's allowed to do it but now you're going to see how good archers are against chariots you watch this group around here the couple of groups around here you watch how they fall how many will fall? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So the fourteen, just two or three volleys there. So they're really that's probably the only way I really know how to deal with chariots is mass archer fire on them. Um if you know real good, you know, I, I know heavy infantry work quite well too. Yeah, and if you get them bogged down, stop moving, they get cleaned up pretty fast. But all in all, I find chariots quite a challenge to deal with. If we have good chariot killing strategies, I would like to hear them. Ones that kill them like really quickly, because I don't really know any. Other than shooting them with lots of mass missile fires and getting them bogged down on pikes. Pikes are really good, I know that. And heavy infantry type units. Never let them get engaged with Cav, even the best Cav can struggle like mad with them. Here I get caught a bit, get a bit forced to go in the wrong direction. But you're going to see most of my infantry just mass route here. It is awful. It is just ridiculous how easily they beat me down, you know. This unit will get clumped. And you're going to see the most annoying thing ever too. These got silver gold and gold gold falcsmen and chosen swordsmen are going to lose to this unit of one upgrade peasants. It's got to have something to do with these guys shooting at them though, that's all I can assume, but they route pretty much straight away. I was really pissed. Anyway, you're gonna see these chariots just eat me alive in seconds. It's absurd how easily they do this. Look, look at that, look at that. Five units of pretty much full powerful upgraded infantry just route like straight away it's ridiculous I don't mean to rant but chariots is just one of those units that piss me off look at that they route in full contact which is probably kind of historically accurate sorry but I don't know what the volume went up for I might have bumped it or something I don't know So anyway, as you can see, I am wasted, but I'll show you that's the importance of scored resolution in a moment. I've still got this unit of Barbarian Noble Cav. Yeah, Barbarian Noble Cav are not really that good Cav. They're more medium Cav than Heavy Cav, because they don't stand up to any of the Heavy Cav in the game. They're cool, but they're not that great. They're okay if you use, use them correctly. So here are, he's got some of his chariots here and I want to try and get him bogged down. And as you can see when the chariots get bogged down and stop moving they don't do as well. So that's, in my experience, that's how you can beat them. If I'm ever ver suspecting I might be versing a chariot spam, oh you bring spearmen and pikes and things to support if I can. So I'm going to skip some bits out here because it's just route, picking up routers and it just means the video is unnecessarily long. So I'll come back in a minute guys. 
Okay guys, here's the end, end results. I just skipped to the end because it was just a couple of units running over the field and it's just it's just unnecessary time on the video. So anyway, I actually won this. As I said, I didn't, we didn't know it was scored, but it was scored and I actually won. But if you look, I only got 1,033 kills, Britain got 1,269 kills. So for those of you who think that scored resolution gives the victor to the most kills, it's not like that. It gives it to the most, like, valued kills, the most important kills, or challenging kills, I think. So it deemed that my kills that I made were tougher than the kills that the Britain player made. So that's how that works. Because the Britain player mostly picked off um, uh, Spain and um, Germany. And... I destroyed all of Gaul and did significant damage to his chariots anyway. I think I did anyway, so that's why it deemed my kills were more worthy than his, so that's why I got the win. So all in all, a good game to Sean, Rebels, Sean Paddy, White Shadow 467, Pendragon and Zeliac. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.